Lindsay Island on the Victorian and South Australian border contains large areas of river red gums, black box woodland and diverse wetland habitats. The watering of these and other important sites is occurring through Water for the Future, the Australian Government's 10-year plan to secure the water supply for all Australians. The triage operation that we've been undertaking over the last four to five years has really um, meant that we've been able to um, maintain the health of these big old red gums, be able to purely hold them in a state where they're not declining anymore and in recent times with this last lot of watering provided by the Australian Government we've been able to um, see the trees start to improve in health. The 200 kilometres of the Murray River between the townships of Mildura and Renmark are highly regulated and that has completely uh, changed the uh, dynamics of this part of the landscape. Added to that, a huge uh, drought effect that we're in at the moment with uh, 10 years since we've had above bank flows into these landscapes. We really need to get water back across these lower parts of the floodplain where we can uh, target these big old iconic red gums. Watering these areas will help to maintain this vegetation which is threatened by depletion of soil moisture and underlying saline groundwater. Through careful planning and site selection, the government will be able to return water to many of Australia's important rivers and wetlands. Cooperation with this project through the agencies and that across the board has been a major contributing factor to its success locally, statewide and then the Commonwealth uh, joining in for this year's watering program is just a testament to the future success of this program. This Commonwealth Water has allowed us to be able to put water into these systems, capitalise on the work that's happened over the last two to three years and really make a difference.